You know this, that's why they have those little dots here. Focus myths. So you can focus on those. If you do this, look it around, look around. Even the top-notch freaking gyms, this is what they do. One, two, one, two, one, one. Look at freaking boxing, freaking uh, professionals. They freaking do the same thing. Let's do that real quick. One, two. Sorry, one, two. One, two. One, two. Look at my hand. Uh, this way. One, two. One, two. One, two. You see how my hand is going way up? Look how my body is going way over. That's not realistic, man. This is how we do it here. Go ahead, one, two. I even shot lower than what his head was naturally. And look how low he goes, and he's not wasting momentum. It's not putting him in danger, and he gets the realistic feel. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, go this way. So you can see I'm actually swinging at his face. Okay. And I'm going way low, right? So that's realistic. That's how you really do the mitts, right? All right, so now we're going to do the double one. Uh, let's do that hook a few more times, though, a little more realistic. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, go. Good. 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 Last one. All right, let's show him from this side that I'm swinging at your face. So you guys can see that I'm swinging at his actual face. Two more. Last one. Now we're gonna do the double one, all right? Then we're gonna start off really light. So you're gonna go bottom and then side crunch to hit the top. Uh, remember, you wanna get that uh, gravity to your advantage. So you can push me down. Even if you miss me, you hit me my shoulder, I'm still gonna go downward and I have to come back up. And that's where you can take advantage. All right, that's another thing about the hooks. All right, most of the hooks, man, I'm telling you, a lot of you are gonna think that I'm full of shit because my style is completely different. Um, and it really is. It's, it's, it's not conventional boxing. All right, so well, the way I like to do it is uh, when you throw a hook, a, a lot of times, especially when the time, when the you know situation allows it, obviously, all right, you want to use a, a gravity to your advantage. What that means is if you side crunch, all right, this shoulder comes up. When you hit, you're going down. All right, so come over here. Even if I miss his head, all right, I hit his shoulder, boom. He's gonna have to move that way, all right? Now I might cock him to maybe hit, go ahead, uh, swing an uppercut. So once I swing an uppercut, all right? Now I slip, but look at me now. I'm freaking loaded up to hit all kinds of stuff right here. Let's show him on this side. All right, so uh, once again, so um, uh, what was it? So you hook. I can't believe I totally forgot about what we were doing. What was it? You throw the hook, uh -huh. and you hit me down. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> all right, sorry. All right, here we go. So, so even if I miss his face, all right, if I hit his shoulder, boom, all right, he's gonna, it's gonna move his body down, and he has to come up. Even if you don't bring the hit, do the hit, go ahead, boom, boom, right here I can hit him, all right, because he has to come up, and that's his first instinct is to get back to position of power, all right. If he's slick enough to not waste any momentum, which he should be, any any boxer should be, all right, go ahead. All, right, all I did was dip into it, right? Uh, uh, without fear, right? Even if he hits me on my shoulder, go ahead and hit me on the shoulder. It's not gonna hurt me, and I stubbed the hell out of his shoulder, his <laughs> his wrist, all kinds of stuff, right? He wasn't expecting that because I never done that to him on this one. That's how you can tell. That's how new he is, right? Anyways, um, so even if I well, if I don't hit, uh, if I if I don't slip it properly, uh, even if I want you to my, my advantage is to hit him. Boom, that's what I heard of, and now I'm loaded up to boom. So let's do it again. So I put you down, I slip. Automatically I slip. Look right here, I'm cross bodied everything, ready to go. Right here, I'm ready to come back up. Boom, boom, you can do anything right there. All right, so let's go ahead and practice that. And go, so slip, uppercut, and then, all right, slip, uppercut, boom, there you go. Again, and a little closer, right there, go ahead. Two more. Last one. Good. All right, over here. So I can show you that I'm answering at his head, and you can see how different angles, you can see how close he really is coming to my face, meaning realistic wise. There we go. Good. Good. Uh, one more time on this side. Uh, let's see, you don't have to see me too much right there. All right, so here we go. So see how close I am? It's right here, boom, it's sitting here. 
boom, right here, right close to my face, like nothing. All right, uh, and the last one, I'm gonna show you guys. It's good for now. All right, so the last one is you can do it on the double end back, right? I don't know if you noticed, it's been a double end back here the whole time. All right, anyways, so even if you're doing the double end back, right, you're gonna be hitting it. All right, that's what you do right there. It's the same thing that we were just showing, all right? And then right here, you can still hook, all right? Um, uh, you can do it as a lefty as well. You're going at it. All right, just like that. All right, here I'm ready to boom. All right. Another thing is you can drill. The last thing is uh, you, while you're working out your core, uh, quads, obliques, uh, I mean, quads, hamstrings, and glutes, uh, and a little bit of obliques actually, um, is you can do what I call rapid lunge. All right, a lunge is a lunge. Right, all right, but what I well, the rapid lunge is when you you don't rush it, but you just rapidly change, change, switch, switch over, switch just like so. All right, so that's a rapid lunge. All right, so you're working out your hamstrings for the most part, a little bit of glutes, a lot of quads, a lot of core as well. But what we're gonna do is all you need to do is when you lunge out what you left, it's the same thing as you're punching. All right, you, if your left foot is forward and you, you go over like this, you're almost lunging. All right. You're almost lunging, so all you're gonna do is lunge out and then in. Switch out, in. Notice this crunch here. I'm using my lower back, obliques, a lot of core. Using, uh, I'm working my stabilizing muscles. My ligaments and tendons are being activated because I'm a little off balance because I'm almost in a tight rope. All right, this is not a tight rope, this is a tight rope. So when you lunge out, you're in a tight rope. It's pretty tight and it's a little bit hard to balance. Um, and whether you have trouble with it or not, you're still activating ligaments and tendons in an abnormal manner. What does that mean? You're strengthening them, all right? You're conditioning them. All right, so anyhow, this is what it looks like from the front. So you go. All right, and that's it, that's simple. Uh, wrong side. Just like that, all right? Yeah, that's about it. So just don't forget, always slip that shoulder in when you're doing your shadow uh, striking, all right, shadow boxing, boom, 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 boom. Always practice that shoulder in. Uh, one last thing is, sometimes I don't even throw the punches. I don't extend them out. I just throw the shoulders as if I was gonna punch, meaning like this. See, I'm slipping right there and throwing like I'm about to punch when you it. But I'm not punching, I'm just using my shoulders to learn how to use that leverage to move those shoulders to get more distance. All right, look how much distance I got right there. If I throw my shoulder forward, if I don't, I can't even reach it. If I throw it forward, I can extend it far out. All right, and there's a lot more reach. Once again, my name is Jesus Medina. I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. I'm also the owner of Seabreeze Fitness, which is located in Costa Mesa, California, which we're now recording this. I want to give thanks to my friend here, Warrior Steven, for helping me to demonstrate this. And don't forget, you're limited to your creativity and pain is temporary. Fight is eternal. Fulfillment lasts forever. The fight will be worth it. All right, keep fighting, fighting, fighting through the damn discomfort. If it's pain, meaning like a broken bone, that's probably the only pain you should feel. It's a broken bone. Anything else is not pain, man. It's just discomfort. Fight through it accordingly, reasonably, obviously. If you uh, twist an ankle or something, you don't want to do my uh, plyometrics on that freaking ankle. All right, you want to be careful with that butt. You can still swing. You can do still upper body workouts, all right? Stuff like that. Don't give up, man. Fight, fight, fight through everything. It'll be worth it. KO method, baby.